Good morning, it is the 6th of April and it is a typical day in Edinburgh, cold and rainy. Um, it is Dewey's 24 hour readathon today and basically my friend Jill and I are participating very casually. As in, it's already half nine and <laughs> we've not started yet but I am off to meet her. We are going to go have coffee in a bookshop and then have a wee look at the books and catch up <laughs> and um, then we're going to head back to mine and spend the day reading, eating, maybe recording a podcast and try and stay up late in like old school sleep sleepover fashion. So we're just going to have like a fun booky day and I wanted to take you along with me. got so far Jill? Uh, well we've gone what 50 yards in the bookshop? <laughs> it's so far I've got three. I've got Patrick B. Fermer's Travels on the South Hill nice. Page, three for two, been wanting it for yeah. a while. The Burning by Laura Bates, three for two, been wanting it for a while. <laughs> and Hills Moving Castle which was recommended by many many people on Twitter. Nice. Not three for two. No. So. Although I might get this which is three for two, I've not decided yet. Hey Joe. Hey. <laughs> so I've got Joe back in my, my house now. Hey. Um, we finished our Blackwells trip. We have got tons of snacks, all of our books, more books than we're going to read. <laughs> um, we've had some lunch and everything and uh, we thought we'd quickly show you what we bought before we start reading. <laughs> um, right, shall I go first? Go. Right, I actually hadn't heard of any of my books beforehand. These are all nice. three completely new books. I've got three ones I have heard of. <laughs> Um, so I've got, and mine's are all the same colour, that's the weird thing as well. I've got The Orphanage of God by Helena Coggan. Yeah, Helena Coggan. It's had three pens off in Blackwells. And it's really good because um, it's basically, oh, it's like in a world where there's gods and then all the gods are killed but all of their children are kept in this orphanage and if they show, like, powers, they, like, disappear. So, like, I don't know, it just sounded good. It's sort of, like, weird, dark fantasy. Um, and then obviously there's one like demigod child who like has to probably save the world or is being used for something. So, um, I, yeah, it's just sounds quite good. Never heard of it. No. Yeah. What have you got? Do you want me to go next? Yeah. I've got Manny. I think that's how it's pronounced. And it's Travels in the Southern Peloponnese by Patrick Lee Fermor. And I've got his um, trilogy collection of his walk across Europe. Mm. And I've always fancied this one because it's in Greece. And I've got yeah. the Northern Greece one. And Sparta! And it was in three for two. And I've been wanting it for ages. Yeah. That no, was actually it in Jean's three for two. Yeah. Well, we, yeah, so we, we shared, me we to shared a three for two. Um, so in the three for two, I also got this, which I'd never heard of. And it's also black and red. <laughs> really weird. Um, and this is another fantasy book. It's called Empire of Sand by Tasha Suri. And apparently this one is inspired by sort of like Indian folklore and like... Um, just sort of like Indian culture, so I thought I've not really read a fantasy book like that. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a fantasy book set in medieval India, that's about all I know from with it. A girl is being forced into an arranged marriage, um, and yeah, there's an empire that needs saving. <laughs> it's black and red. Who knows? <laughs> Actually, that one's black and red. You've got a black and red book. It is, kind of. My next one is a history book, and it's Matilda. Empress Queen Warrior by Catherine Hanley and it's a new non-fiction history book that's come out about Queen Matilda. Well, she wasn't actually queen but she fought for the throne. Yeah. She was the rightful heir to the throne and it actually ended up going to her cousin Stephen <gasps> and she fought back. Stephen. So there hasn't been a biography about purely Matil Matilda, really? I don't think, before if I'm right Is there not that much that. we know about her? No, I think this is the first full biography on her. Um, so yeah, I'm very interested in being wanting it as soon as it came out yeah. and it was on £3 off cool. so why not? If you need to know anything about Tudor history. That's not a Tudor. Oh, sorry. That's pre previous to, <laughs> prior to Tudors. British history, just ask yeah. Jill. Yeah. <laughs> British kings and queens, ask Jill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll take that. Uh, 
Now back in bread book, uh, this one sounds like a bit more tongue in cheek, sort of funny. Uh, it's called Strange Practice, a Dr. Greta Helsing novel by Vivian Shaw. And this is like a detective novel where the doctor's a detective, but she's like a paranormal doctor. So I don't know if she's paranormal, but she like, her job is to take care of like banshees. So uh, vocal strain and banshees, arthritis and barrel whites, entropy and mummies, that kind of thing. But it sounds quite fun to you. I picked it up as well. Yeah, you we can borrow it after me. And I've got Howl's Moving Castle by Diane Wynne Jones. And this is one I had never heard of until we did the Femme Fan Tale readathon on Twitter. And a but someone was reading it, and a bunch yeah. of people got really excited. And I was kept trying to ask, "What is this about?" And they just kept talking about how great it was. So it intrigued me, and I bought it. And I've seen the. F I, I hear the film's really different, but the film, the Studio Ghibli film, is. Oh. Incredible. I've just, I'm sorry, I'm very aware that I look like the lion from Wizard of Oz <laughs> when he's had his hair done. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it looks incredible. This is Jill's natural hair. Just, like, how incredible is this? I keep, like, kind of push it back. This is my natural it's hair. Very, um, what was his name? It was just a lion. It just yeah, looks a, a bit like that. If I put bows in it, I could be it. <laughs> I'm trying to tuck it behind my bit. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd just show you this as well. Jill also got me this game on Stable Unicorn, so we're going to also play this later. So we'll take some reading breaks. To play a card game about unicorns. But because why not? Yeah. Okay, we better go read. And eat. Bye. Do you, do you wanna share what you you've already read? The wrath of what I've already read today. Yeah. Oh, so I read um <laughs> two books already. Vi Vivian. It's nine o'clock and you read two books. The first Vivian and the Apocalypse. Yeah, one. Vivian and the First is the Apocalypse. And uh, The Wild Swan by Michael Cunningham. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. And I've just started The Wrath and the Dawn. Woo! And I read Jen's poetry collection, The Girl Aquarium, and I'm currently reading The Raven and the Reindeer by T. Kingfisher. Which she keeps laughing at. <laughs> It's just like, it's not like, like big ROFLs, but like No, just little... kind of... <laughs> So I just realised Jill and I completely forgot to say goodbye or end the vlog in any fashion. Um, it is actually like sort of later on Sunday evening. I'm at home with my mum and um, I... Just thought I would quickly check in and let you know how Jill and I's reading went off. Uh, obviously Jill is no longer here, she's gone and returned to her own home. But she did finish The Wrath and the Dawn, which means she finished three books, because she is such a fast reader. Um, and I finished The Raven and the Reindeer, which means I finished a poetry collection and a book. So I'm very pleased with myself, because to be honest, we did a lot of things other than reading as well. We didn't get a podcast recorded, but we played multiple games of Unstoppable Unicorns, Unstable Unicorns, Unstable Unicorns, which is the best game by the way, Jill got it for my birthday, would highly recommend. We chatted, we had some cocktails, we ate some like junk food um, and some and some proper food for dinner as well. So I had a lovely time and it's something I really want to make a priority again actually is sort of just like whether it's a 24 hour readathon or not is like having like a day of chatting and reading and chilling with with like a friend like Jill because we had so much fun and it was just so relaxing and nice to read together and then chat in between so I am really pleased that we did this um of course do check out Jill on her social media she does have a YouTube channel <laughs> I'd be lying to say she posts regularly but I'm always encouraging her to um get back into the video making game so um I'll leave all of that down below sorry my brain's all over the place I also really enjoyed both of the books I read so that was great um you will see reviews for them in my mid-month wrap-up my brain is all over the place. I am going to go. Um, this vlog has been so random, but hopefully it has been semi-entertaining. Um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of the books I have mentioned. Until next time, bye guys.